Welcome, folks, to Let's Play Quickly, The Fortress of Fear, made by Acclaim Entertainment and Rare Limited, 1989. This is the story of Kuros, the mighty barbarian who runs around in full plate armor, while being pictured on boxes as a hulking barbarian Conan Rastan type. Your evil nemesis is Malkil, an evil wizard who you have thwarted many times, but for some reason they go one, two, three, then ten in this game, for no reason. But that's alright, you can live with it, because you're Kuros and you have the duck walk. I'll show you in a moment. Let's play! This is Kuros. He can walk, he can jump, he can stab, swipe, and duck walk. You'll learn to love the duck walk, because it looks so stupid. Going right is where we need to go, but we're going to go left, because going left is where prizes are. As you can see, prizes to my left. A key, and an extra life. There are no continues in this game. Once you are done, you're... Ugh. Also, Jumping is pinpoint. If you miss a, ju a ledge by even a millimeter, you'll fall and die. I didn't want to do that. This is the second time I'm actually recording this, because the first time the quality was terrible. Only this video, though. It, whoa! Usually I attack that, but uh. Oh, an arrow. Yeah, someone off screen is firing arrows at us. We never find out who, or rather, we don't find out yet. Jump! And an extra life is mine. Huzzah! Jumping up! Can I poke this fish? Yes, and it goes zap! Because all fish go zap when they get poked. Ow. Ooh, there's meat there. Because ground meat is nice to eat, duck walk under the arrow, and into the Fortress of Fear! Because we weren't in the Fortress of Fear yet, but we are now. The other reason I did it, lag. This emulator is terrible. Pausing the emulation meant that there was sound lag. But anyway, we're in the battlements of the Fortress of Fear. As you can see, just to make this jump harder, they throw a bat in. Oh, cannonball! Dodge that! And we poke this spider in the face until it dies. At least that's more than what usually happens in a Wizards and Warriors game. <laughs> Wizards and Warriors is tantamount to being a series where actually using your sword doesn't do very much. Because, let's face it, it never does. In Iron Sword, you're better off just jumping into the enemies instead of actually attacking them. Now that chest is a potion of healing. I could do with it, actually. But if I don't take it, I get a potion of invincibility later. I'll go for the potion of invincibility, actually. So going into here, takes us to this area. Nine times out of ten, these areas actually have secret areas. As you can see, I'm actually... Usually you can jump up there, and to the left. But this is the end of a level, so you can't jump that way. The evil Malkil awaits to vent his wrath upon thee, then why are we going into his castle? Unless we're going to save someone. I presume you're going to save some damsel who's been kidnapped, and these are Vikings of some sort. I think if I avoid this chest, I will probably die. No, I won't. The first boss is really easy. So hopefully we can survive. I'm taking a risk here, because I'm sure there's another chest further down. Hey, meat, we like that. I will jab you with my sword, but I am Koros! Come on, die. Oh. I guess I wasted my key. No, I didn't, because look what's down here. Gems! I think if you collect 10 gems, you get an extra life. And we don't want to fall, because fall damage is bad. Now look over here! Another secret area! And we still don't want to fall. We want to conserve our energy. Another extra life. And a key! 
chests have a number of things in them. They can have extra lives. They can have uh, gems in them. They can also have potions of healing, as I said, and two items that are quite useful to you. You lose items if you happen to die, and you lose all keys. As you can see, we now have six lives. Huzzah to us. Now, going across here will take us to our first boss. It's a pretty simple boss, and that's the end of the level. Oh, he's angry, but don't worry, we'll kill his bat. Yes, folks, a bat. There we go, we should get by going that way. And then he does his little fly down here, does a little rest. We poke him some. We poke him a little bit, and then he goes down here to have a rest, and then he zooms over to the left, and his pattern repeats, naturally. He is not an advanced or complicated boss. He also does not take many hits. But that's alright. He doesn't have to. And after this boss, we will cut the recording off. And try and do it this way instead, because every time I paused, sound lag. Let's not have that, folks. Even though there are some bosses I really do wish I could pause. Okay. Die. He's dead. Now we go this way. And a new level is upon us. So... I shall cut the video off now. See you next time.